Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Logical functions are useful for displaying different results in a cell based on whether or not another cell passes a logical test that you create. Logical formulas take the form of a logical if-then-else statement. Therefore, you must need to know at least three different arguments before you could write a logical function. First, you'll need to know the logical test you wish to place the cell through. Second, you'll need to know the cell value to display if it passes the test or returns a true value. And you'll also need to know the cell value to display if it fails the test or returns a false value. For example, we have a lookup function here into which we may type a company name and have it look up the contact. Let's say we wanted to put some instructions in and we want it to display what the user should do if the company field is blank. So for example, it should say, please type the company name into cell A11 to view the contact. However, if there's already information in there, we want it to display the contact for the company listed in A11 is shown in B11. We can do that with a logical function. So when you're writing a logical function, they have to have a certain syntax. They start with an equal sign and then the word if. Then we put in our open parenthesis and in the next section we'll fill in the arguments for the if function. The first thing it wants us to do is determine the logical test. So in this case, we want to know if A11 is blank. So let's use the function is blank. And then the cell reference, which we want to check for a blank value. And then we close that nested function off and put in a comma to separate the first argument, which is the logical test, from the second argument, which is the value of true. So if company or cell A11 is blank, what do we want it to return? If it's going to return a calculation or a number, you could simply put in the function to perform. However, if it's going to be text, make sure that the text response is enclosed in double quotation marks. So if it's blank, we might want to put in some instructions on how to use it. and then another comma to separate our second argument from our third argument. Finally, we have to put in the value if it's false. So if it's not blank, somebody has typed something into it, what do we want it to display? Once again, if it's a text result you'd like displayed, put it in double quotes. And finally, put in our closed parenthesis. So this is an example of using logical functions. The other thing that we should mention is if the result if true or result if false is a date value that you would like returned, then those have to be enclosed within pound signs. The only time you won't mark the value to return is if you want the cell to display a numerical result or perform a numeric function. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.